Our sun is dying, and soon, Lumia will fall into darkness. The last spark of life will be forever lost. I was a baby when it happened. The world's been dead ever since I can remember. Maybe a bit greener when I was younger. And some flowers. I love flowers. My grandfather tells me stories. They always sound like a dream. I wish I could be in that dream. But they came. And they took everything. Why? What did we do to deserve this? We call them Namorians, and they brought chaos and death into our world. Now, we slowly die, without hope, without a future. <sighs> this can't be the end. I will not fall into darkness and wait for everything to disappear. There must be a way. We have to escape somehow. We live in this small house. It's the only home I've ever known. Grandpa doesn't tell me things. He believes I'm too young. But I saw it. The seed exists. Only it can bring back life and make the world flow once again. I sit here, every day. I can't watch these candles burn anymore. Their flames get smaller, and so does my soul. I need to find the seed. I need to go. I need to find out where the seed is located. When I was little, Grandpa took me to see it. We were far away. And I only remember a vague silhouette surrounded by lots of water. One more book to read. At least something to help me remember. Hmm. This one talks about some kind of ancient race that used to harvest Lumium, the source of all life. Grandpa was obsessed with this kind of thing. Wait! What's this? Some kind of note? The seed is empty, and it needs a vessel of light. I need to go there and rekindle it if Lumia is to survive. I had no choice. There is no more time. And Cora, my beloved granddaughter, if I don't see you again, know that I'm doing this for you and Lumia. I love you with all my heart. Grandpa wants to reignite the seed? No! There has to be another way! I have to find it! Grandpa must have left me this book to help me understand Lumia better. I've never seen it before. Seems like it has detailed information about the seed and Lumium plants. I remember Oren telling me how the plants are able to absorb Lumium from the ground and store it. I wish I had more time to read it. I often saw Grandpa use this strange object to maintain the alien technology around the house. I'll take it with me, just in case. Oh, 
And there's the key. Okay, I'm ready to leave the house now. The sun is weakening, and every day it's getting darker. I shouldn't waste too much time around the house. There isn't much to see on this side of the river, apart from the nearby pedestal. If I want to reach the seed, I must cross the river. This pedestal is the last beacon of light in this area. Without it, we wouldn't have survived for so long. We are lucky it still has a lumium pool. This object on the wall seems to hold a petal. What if... Huh, the object is reacting! I can take it! I tried so many times to do this! The shield has weakened, but it's still holding. There must be another petal nearby. I love the sound of this waterfall. It reminds me that somehow I'm connected to the planet even when I'm sleeping, like it's cuddling me inside my dreams. The shield is gone! Seems like the road is clear. From now on, I need to be careful and watch my surroundings. Ah, 
Namorian ships in the sky. It looks like they're leaving. No reason to panic. The last ship I saw left years ago. Something must have happened. That one is passing really close. Wait, something happened. I think a small drone was released from it. I better go and investigate. I hope it's not dangerous. Another pedestal! To activate it, I have to align the circles and insert the missing petals. Wait a minute. Yo, not come. Ed. He's safe. Glad. Not time. What was that? The pedestal is... trying to tell me something? <laughs> 